Out the company presents Diet Challenge is a one-of-a-kind project, the nine participants of which were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I've never seen a reality where people take control of their diabetes and succeed in doing so. Tell us how your week went from an emotional standpoint. These are real things and real situations. A six-month transformation process. You can't solve a problem if you remain at the stage of its creation. Regular workouts. Sugar and emotional control. Daily activity reports. Who among the boys began to weigh their food? Now I think about how I used to live. How could I make insulin injections not knowing what I was going to eat? Real solutions. Real victories. I want to brag. Yesterday I balanced out my meals. Every day is a new step towards self-improvement and diabetes management. We challenged ourselves. Have you? It has been six weeks since the first group meeting at the cottage. In that time, almost all of the Diet Challenge participants proved the seriousness of their intentions. It's truly a fresh start, a true transformation. 17. However, one of the participants has received a warning. The experts felt that Kirill Kuzmin failed to follow the main rule of timely and accurately completing recommendations and homework assignments. Why do you continue seldom blood sugar checks? How can you check the coefficients? How can you tell if you need insulin if you don't check your sugars regularly? Kirill is on probation. Kirill, you have a week to prove to the experts that you really need this project. Okay. Today is the seventh group meeting. We're halfway through the first stage of diet challenge, a month and a half of strict discipline and intense control. It's hard to believe that we're halfway through the project. I'm hungry, want to go? The one who's always hungry, that's why she wears sunglasses. Okay, let's go to the kitchen, what are we waiting for? But even behind the glasses, we can always recognize Nastya Martinyuk, the youngest diet challenge participant. Now we will hear her diabetes story. I don't feel like my life is different from others. I never felt like just because I have diabetes, I'm not like everyone else. Nastya Martinyuk was four years old when she was hospitalized. According to my mom, I felt ill and I was vomiting. An ambulance took me away. I arrived at the hospital, they ran some tests, and that's it. Bad news, the parents were told. Your child has been diagnosed with diabetes. It's very hard. We barely knew anything about diabetes. Having never ran into it, we knew very little of such a problem. When you or someone you know is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, a life-changing process begins. Learning to live in a new way is hard. Support is crucial at a time like this. And access to information. Feeling empty and not knowing is very bad. What do you do? Who do you talk to? When you look for answers online, the first thing you see are different types of herbs, magic or psychics, Jerusalem artichoke. Some John Smith says that diabetes is curable, that his sister is diabetes free now, and he cured her with herbs. Unfortunately, that's not the reality. If that were true, then Mr. Smith would already have a Nobel Prize and a bag of cash. There's no cure for diabetes for now. The advices are a whole other thing. Oh, your baby is on insulin. Why don't you just take these pills instead? Why would you give them insulin right away? All of these questions come from not knowing. I want to know everything about diabetes, absolutely everything, to know what to do and when to do it, and to do it properly. 
While Nai still lived with her parents, she, like most kids her age, didn't give much thought to diabetes control. But sooner or later, it's time to grow up. You have 4.5 bread units. You consumed 4.5 bread units and you inject 5.1. Why? Because my sugars are at 13. That's what the pump said to do. So you just do whatever the pump tells you to do then? Do you think that the pump gave you a correct advice? What dosage of insulin usually brings down your sugars with a glucose level of 13? Maybe two units? Look, the pump is an interesting tool. It's a computer. If you keep giving it wrong information, it will always return with an error. So again, glucose level is at 13. If you were using an insulin pen, how much insulin would you need to lower your level? 1.5. But not half a unit. Do you agree? The pump is telling you to do 0.6. For some reason, it shows you this 0.6. Perhaps you have active insulin from your prior bolus. But you don't, as it has almost been three hours since then. This will probably not end well. Anastasia, you will have to excuse me. Please go easy on me. I'm only learning. Nastya came on the show to learn to control her condition on her own. Turn the routine counting into a simple habit so it would not get in the way of her busy life. College, dance, sports, singing, blogging, a YouTube channel, shooting movies, and TV projects. With such a busy schedule, it's not always easy to find time to fill out diaries on self-control and other mandatory diabetes activities. I want to combine my health with my active lifestyle. I understand that there will be no me without my active life. I can't see my life without these active and creative moments in it. I become happier when I can share my good mood and my love. I love to clown around and act silly. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have hypo. Ask me that a bit later. I am overwhelmed with emotion when I am performing on stage. How is it possible to be weak? How is it possible not to love your life? I want to reach stability even with my active lifestyle. I just want to prove to myself that I can do it. I can control myself. In fact, this is the right format for a life with diabetes. That's how it should be for anybody with diabetes. In the end, she can't understand. She says there's no way to just make that shift. Actually, that's exactly what you need to do. What do you do about your basal when you go to the gym? That's what I wanted to ask you about. How do I reduce my basal? You just lower the temporary basal rate percentage. Do I go into bolus? No. Why bolus? Temporary basal rate. Set and change the temporary basal rate? Yes. Workout duration is two hours? Look, have you never done anything like this? So it's time to sort this out. Have you never lowered your temporary basal rate at all? How many times a week do you go to the gym? Three to four days a week. What kind of exercise? Strength training, about two to three hours. Two, three hours. How would I know that? You do two, three hours, some do an hour, some do two hours. How should I know this? I think this 3.9 is because of wrong food calculation. So, I'm angry with you. But these results are due to you not changing your basal. Maybe, and we'll never sort out the bolus, the basal or the temporary basal rate unless the diary is filled out properly. We are asked about our self-control diaries. And finally today, we decided to open the Holy of the Holies. Here they are. 
I'd like to point out that these diaries were designed by the Diet Challenge participants. By us. Yes, by us. Hooray! A huge thanks to Elta Company for printing these awesome diaries. So, sorry Dina, but why such resonance around the diary? In fact, there are tons of diaries, but unfortunately they were all laid out wrong. One page per one day. Very cool. On the left side of the diary are the sugars. On the right side, meal notes, in terms of diabetes compensation. We have 24 columns for 24 hours in a day. As we all know, the more often you check your sugars, the better your compensation. You must always know your sugars. Check it on an empty stomach, before bed and every time before a meal. Then an hour later and two hours later. The next column is the basal. Since I use a pump, this is where I write down my pump basal. For example, Dima uses an insulin pen, so he writes down the time and the amount of his insulin injection. Next column is the temporary basal rate. This is mainly for people on the pump. The pen users don't need to fill this out. The next column is the most important. It's the blood sugar. The column after that is for the bread units. The next column is the bolus, ultra short or short insulin. The next column is for the pump users. It's for the extended bolus or a double injection. As we know with proteins and fats, we need either a double injection or an extended bolus. How long does a single diary last? It's enough for a month. The second part is for meals. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack and the total. You can even count the proteins, fats, carbs and overall calories. I would say that the second half of the paper diary is not as relevant in my opinion. The app makes it much easier. It has a database of products. You can scan the barcode, it's much easier. You won't always write everything down. On the other hand, you focus, you submerge into your diary. Such self-control. Some might even like it. I like the paper version better. I can see the sugars and meals side by side. No need to go back and forth from my phone to the diary. Okay, so I had cereal. Why is my blood sugar like this? I can see all of this on a single page and analyze it. My doctor also has an easier time with it. No need to go into my phone. Two different apps. Yeah, yeah, since the doctors also need to know your nutritional status. It's very convenient when you eat something new. You compensated it perfectly and you wrote it down. The next time you want to have the same thing, you just open up your diary and look at what you did and how much of it you did. No problem. Okay, let's take a look at your diary. I didn't fill everything out. Very bad. I know. Neither you nor I will be able to sort this out. This is why this is the main thing that must be done. I understand. The more carefully you fill this out, the faster we'll compensate and you'll have the answers that you seek. The most important thing for me is my health, to figure out what is happening with me and to sort out my sugars. Because I realize that in some instances, I would simply forget and didn't take it too seriously. Good day, Anastasia. Today I will be your neurologist. Please tell me what is bothering you in terms of your nervous system. The system is large, so I will ask leading questions. Let's start with your head. Any pain, dizziness, ear noise? Do you have anything like that? Yes, I get headaches. Sometimes I feel like I don't want anything that I don't need anything, nothing interests me. Sometimes I even thought, why live at all? What's the point? Sometimes I lose it, it's scary, very scary. Bring your finger to your nose, slowly, good, excellent. Other hand, great. I was feeling like I was having a hypo, but my sugars were normal. I was on my way to the gym. I am just sitting there, shaking. I was looking around at the people and I began to have a panic attack. I thought it was the glucose, thought I should check. I checked the glucose and it showed 9. 
So I was even more scared because I could not understand what was happening to me. Why was this happening? Why was I so scared? I was scared to go anywhere by myself, thinking, God forbid something happens to me, who would help me? And this feeling grew and grew, until I really thought that something was wrong with my health. You never know. So I went in for a checkup, but everything was okay. I see the third one, but it's blurry. I got you, you can stand up. Is that bad? Not too bad. Look, try and recall your goal on this project. What are you doing here? What is all of this for? What would you like to have happen in your life by the end of the next three months? I want to learn self-control. Just an example. I'm having a hypo and I need to eat three pieces of sugar. However, I'm very hungry and weak, so I eat a lot more. Chocolate, cookies and some other stuff. On the one hand, I know that three pieces of sugar is enough. And on the other hand, I just can't stop. A time when you want it all and you want it now. The question is why must it be hypo? It doesn't just appear out of nowhere. I see where you're going. No, no, no. Look. This is important. All things in life, be it a person, a company, doesn't matter who. All things break into four urgent, vital groups. These groups are urgent and vital, not urgent and not vital, urgent but not vital, and vital but not urgent. When you have many urgent things, this tells me that your previous planning was not very good. That's one way of putting it. If you have things that are both vital and urgent, it means that either you had no time to think about the important things, or you placed no importance on them. Some things did not receive the due attention and thought of as unimportant. Then it turns out that they were important. This is why if a person is constantly busy with important things, they are showing poor planning. A person must pay attention to vital, but not urgent stuff. Because the important things cannot be done urgently. Time and effort must be spent on them. Hypoglycemia is both vital and urgent. Hence the next task, to understand what I'm doing wrong and what leads to this state. You have to figure this out and understand why you are doing things the wrong way and how to change that. It is essential in getting rid of the hypo state in your life. Nothing comes easy in life. Everything must be earned. You must overcome obstacles and hardships. What time was it when you began to eat? Right away. And uh, why right away? My sugars were at 5 and... And what? Glucose at 5 is a good reading. I didn't keep the pause. I, I don't know why, but I didn't keep it. You usually don't. Usually I don't keep a pause when I have a good glucose level. I do keep a pause when my sugar is higher. A question for everybody. Was there a need for a pause with this glucose level? Yes. What did you get two hours later? Seven. And what does seven tell us? That you either have the wrong basal or the wrong coefficient. Why? Because it's very odd that the marshmallow did not raise your sugar, as there were 44 grams of carbs in it. After such a lesson, and such practice, I think she will be more independent in her decision-making. She will be able to control herself like a grown-up. And I will not have to constantly worry about her. My mom always told me to pay attention. I told her I was, but it wasn't true. I didn't get why I needed to. My legs would hurt a bit, but that's it. No big deal. I thought that until a vessel showed up on my eye, 
It took me 15 years to realize that it's I who should be responsible, not my mom and not even the endocrinologist. Of course, I might need help, but in the end, it is my job. Why don't you have cottage cheese instead of that Milky Way? Why do you have a Milky Way? When are you going to prepare your meals and bring a lunchbox? It's easier to eat something fast instead of preparing and bringing something with you to eat at a set time. Even if you have no time, you can make time. When I was a student, I would eat eight times a day. I would excuse myself and go eat. There will be four exercises. You're familiar with them. It's the plank, push-ups, the chair and holding the weights in front of you. Let's find a winner and the winner will get a prize from me. Whoever scores the most hold time points will be the winner. Raise your back. Push-ups until your face hits the floor. She's been holding it for over four minutes. Nasty is shameless. Make her laugh so she drops already. We're going to break the record. Okay, I'm done. One of you really impressed me. I can't hold the plank for six minutes. I can only hold it for half that time. So I have a present for you. You are amazing. Nastya is very good at exercises, but her main issue is her nutrition. What are we going to do about your nutrition? I really want to try and cook in the evenings for the whole week, or at least for a couple of days. Yes, a few days. At least a few days, of course. Fish, beef, poultry, veggies in the evening, no matter what. Then we'll have the best sugars in the morning. You'll lose weight. In addition to losing weight, your insulin resistance will improve. Your dosages will be smaller. You'll have great results. While you're changing your attitude towards food, your taste will also change. You ate this candy, this junk, and it tastes good to you. But if you switch out this junk for some fruit, and then slowly move towards vegetables, which you eat very little of, then you'll also get the needed protein. You'll feel more full. Your sugars will thank you as well. In all honesty, that is the most difficult challenge for me. Because prior to being on the project, my eating habits were drastically different. I understand that I need this. I must stick to it. But it's so hard. I do slip sometimes. You're all different. And the pump does not work in the same way for everyone. Moreover, today your pump works one way and tomorrow you fall in love and it will work differently. Coming back to your responsibility on this project. Two weeks ago we placed Kirill on probation. It has been two weeks. Unfortunately, Kirill, we're forced to say our goodbyes to you. And Anastasia. Nasty, you're now also on probation for a week. We will see how you'll do. I thought it was going to be me until the very end, because at that time I had problems with my glucose levels and Anastasia was a bit upset with me. How can I convince you that your ultra-short doses are too big? Wait a week. Another week? She told me she didn't like the way I carried out her recommendations and she would complain about me. I'll be honest with you, I will make a complaint about you today. From 12 to 2, it's a roller coaster. Dmitry and this happens every day, every single day. Our goal is to raise the quality of your life and make it more stable, without the constant sugar spikes. We all made a promise during casting. We made a promise to the experts and ourselves. In my opinion, we're responsible for this mutual decision. We're all adults. We're all motivated. If you don't fulfill the conditions, you will not get the results. If you made a promise, but are not fulfilling the conditions, you must leave the project. That's absolutely fair. That it was hard for Kirill to start a completely new life. He didn't realize how much his lifestyle would need to change. Actually, my life already took a turn for the better. It became emotionally easier. My nutrition had a change. I feel better. Kirill, thanks for being with us. I hope that everything you learned here will be of use to you. It's experience and it makes you stronger.
I wish for them to be patient. It's harder now than ever because the initial enthusiasm is gone. It's about the routine now, day in and day out, of things that must be done. And you need patience because the wish to quit comes right before victory. Sometimes you get a feeling where you just want to say, ah, the hell with it. But, as I'm not used to giving up, I just go and do it. What did I find out about myself? Now I know I can do everything. I have great sugars this week. I can see some muscle definition. It feels great. Show them off. This is Diet Challenge. See you in a week.